Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Signal and Systems with MATLAB. So in our previous uh, tutorials we have been working on the continuous time and discrete time signals and uh, after that we uh, practiced uh, trigonometric signals, exponential signals and uh, some sort of signals in MATLAB. So today we are going to perform uh, operation on the signals. Basically we can perform multiple type of uh, 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 operations on the signals and the basic signals and in the time domain have uh, multiple properties such as scaling, shifting, time reversal and all of these concepts you should have studied these in uh, your books. So to practice these uh, attributes of the signals in MATLAB uh, we need to perform some additional steps uh, such as if I am looking forward to perform signal shifting in MATLAB so I need to make a signal in such a manner that it can be easily shifted from one uh, time to another time either it's in the positive direct uh, towards the positive uh, direction or positive infinity or it towards the uh, negative side of the signal or towards the negative infinity so for this purpose normally when we perform signal shifting or signal scaling or signal flipping in time domain uh, the length of code usually increases so MATLAB offers a very simple and uh, easy way to uh, practice these attributes of signals so for this purpose we use functions so basically today we will be perfect uh, practicing functions in our uh, MATLAB so how we can make functions in uh, MATLAB to perform signal and systems basically this is the main uh, objective of today's tutorial so to make a function in MATLAB you have to uh, first of all you need to understand the purpose of function basically the uh, function offers many advantages in programming but generically fun uh, by using functions we can reduce the length of code because we um, uh, we define a generic operation in few lines of code and save it with a name of specific function and once in our code when we need to use this specific operation we can simply call that function and use it for our purposes and the point two is the your function name and your m file basically you know that the m file is the file which you are saving um, your script in MATLAB so the name of the function and name of the file should be same, same. and both of these should be placed in a same uh, folder in your computer so the address of these two should not be different so keep in mind these basic things and uh, let's start building a function so to start for uh, today i will be performing signal shifting only we will learn how we can shift one signal from uh, one time to another time we how we can uh, shift it toward the positive infinity side or the negative uh, infinity side side so how we can make it, uh, how we can produce it in future or how we can shift it to the past. So in theory we practice easily because shifting is usually associated with the uh, mathematical steps. So let's define a function uh, and practice how we can use this attribute of the signal in MATLAB. So to start, right, uh, first of all to start writing a function you need to write the command function and it will change its color then you need to write the name of the new signal and the time of the new signal basically uh, and then you put the example sign on the left side of this uh, exam uh, equal signs uh, your um, these are the attributes of your new signal the y will be the name of your new signal and n will be its new time and after that you write the name of the sig uh, sig function what kind of name you want to have so i am doing shifting here so i will write its name as a shift and after that x x is the name of the older signal so you can see that it is showing me the old attributes of the uh, shift command or this function so x is the name of older signal y is the name of your new signal and after that the old time of the signal and the shift you want to perform in it so i have passed three attributes in this function and saved the updated function in y comma n so 
let me repeat it y will be your uh, new signal n will be its new time shift will be uh, the name of the function x is your older signal uh, the variable x in which this will be the variable in which you have saved your older signal and m will be the its older time and n0 will be the shift the shift which you want to perform in it so let me write a few more lines of code x y is equal to x because these are the variables in which your function is uh, your signal uh, amplitude will be saved so we do not want to lose it that's why we have uh, saved it as y is equal to x and after that i have uh, wrote n is equal to um, the older time plus the shift okay and after that do not forget to end this function so finally we have saved our function do not forget to uh, rename it as uh, keep its name uh, same as the function name so i have stored my m file on the desktop so in if you do not understand these lines basically these lines are doing nothing these are defining these variables y is the new uh, amplitude of your signal and n is the new time of your signal after shifting after performing shifting so i have right here y is equal to uh, x so the older amplitude will be equal to the newer one and the time here the older time plus the shifted time the time which you want to shift in your signal so you have saved it in your end so now we have successfully uh, saved our signal and now we can make the actual signal which we want to uh, perform shifting on it okay i have opened a new script file and let me save it as a, a, the name of practice so i am writing it as practice okay oh first thing first you need to clear your command window clc clear all and close all sorry my mistake close all okay fine now i have wrote these lines and after that i need to define the time of my signal so i am going to take it from minus one minus five and i will use the step size of one and end it on the five so this signal will have total sample 11 samples and uh, i want to make a signal um, with different attributes it will be different from the um, our last signals such as we have been working on the unit step signals unit time uh, impulse signals and those signals so let me uh, define a signal with the variable name x1 and i am initializing it as all zeros so 1 comma 11 what it will do it will uh, place uh, it will make the amplitude of all the time elements is equal to zero it will uh, define x1 variable will have a uh, row vector of zeros one cross 11 and all of these will be all of these very values will be zero okay fine now i want to change these values so i am going to do something new here so x1 is the name of variable when time which i have defined as a n when the n double equal to zero so when the time is equal to zero i want to have it the amplitude of one and after that when the time is, is equal to one i want to have it the value of one and here i want to have it the value of two okay fine so now i have defined it as a um, this thing will be clear once I I plot the signal. So let me plot it. Plot n comma x one comma sorry n com n n and x one and k. So okay, fine. I want to make it black. So if I remove this black, it will not be. Uh, if I remove this the symbol k here my graph will not be black so this is the um, property of uh, plot charts that we can change the color of line and then i want to write x label okay fine mm, time and y label okay amplitude sorry my mistake i'm doing a lot of mistakes today and title let me write it title as signal before shifting 
okay fine so let me write it uh, let me run it let us see what it shows us okay fine so i need to add it to the path so i have successfully added it to the path so there is a mistake in it so let me tell you what is uh, the error here so it is saying that uh, file error at line 6 okay that the incorrect use of equal operator to compare the value use this to specify name okay fine okay let me check it okay fine okay okay uh, i have identified its uh, issue there was a time indent issue so basically i was taking it with the indent so i have removed that indent now uh, we are good to go and let me run this code let us see what it is giving us so we can see that our basically it has shown our signal here uh, the time is from minus 5 to 5 and its attributes are these at time is equal to 0 it has the amplitude of 1 at time is equal to 1 it has the amplitude of 1 meanwhile uh, at time is equal to 2 it has the amplitude of 2 so now I want to shift this signal I want that the, the this this amplitude uh, at uh, time is equal to 0 its value should be 0 and this um, this should be f uh, shifted to the future so i want to give it a let's say that i want to give a shift of plus one here so what i need to do for this so let me uh, start shifting it to shift it uh, allow me to write a few more lines of code in which we can use the uh, shifting sequence here so for this purpose I am going to define a new figure here and after that we have the time I, I will be using the same old time so for your convenience let me redefine it but there is no specific purpose of doing that because we have already have the variable n so what it will do it will replace that variable n and after that I want to give it the shift of one if you recall your shift signal we know that uh, with the n is equal to zero this is that value uh, which we want to shift our signal so I want to make a shift of one here so after that uh, I need to write all of this code again but so here I have defined the old signal with the same values here and I want to shift it so the shifted signal will was stored in the value of y and I am writing a new variable name x2 I will recall the uh, shift command here so with the shifting and small braces and now here if you recall the attributes of the your shift here you need to define a new signal y your at your new signal will be saved in this variable and will be the, your new time then you will write the shift command and after that you will input the old variable name old time and shift so we have the old variable name x1 we have the old time n and we are going to give it a shift of one as defined here so we are good to go we have defined it and now i want to plot so i want to plot y sorry first of all we need to define x axis x2 comma y here you can see that uh, basically x2 and y are our new attributes so i want to make it black and let me copy these lines of code for my convenience and here signal after shifting signal after shifting so i am going to run it let's see what it gives us okay we do not have any kind of error here so you can see that we, our function is suc successfully working in our matlab environment and we have successfully gave a shift of plus one in our code so at, if we see the signal before shifting the time was at minus one two three and signal after shifting uh, we have gave the shift of plus one in our signal and now our signal is uh, at uh, in the range of 0 to 4 and it has the same amplitude because in shifting the amplitude of the signal is not disturbed if we were up to scaling or any other operation then the amplitude of the signal must have compromised so hopefully you would have liked this tutorial uh, do not forget to like subscribe and uh, like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to ask me any question you can 
ask those in comment section and if you want to make uh, me any more further videos you can simply uh, contact me via email thank you so much